Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. It is Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. It's been awesome so far, and it's time for another deck that has been requested for the speed duel. And uh, I'm really glad because I finally get to use this skill. So we are going to be playing a Flame Swordsman deck today. In order to do that, we're using the newest Joey skill. Uh, flip this over when you use this. We will be using Heart of the Warrior today. So this one's pretty awesome, and it led to a crazy deck build. So strap in for this one. Once per turn, you can discard a card. Special summon a level 5 or lower warrior, non-effect, fusion monster card from your extra deck. This is treated as an entire fusion summon. So guys, if you want to bring it back, uh, I don't remember if we have uh, fusion reborn or refusion or whatever the uh, equip card was. Uh, but if we had that, you could totally just bring this guy back. Uh, you cannot conduct a normal or uh, normal summon or a set the turn you activate this skill. But this is a once per turn skill, which means you guys are going to be playing a lot of Flame Swordsman. So, monsters in the main deck. I got three. What do I got? I got everybody else's other favorite Joey card, Gear Freed the Iron Knight. Um, so, little little backstory here. Uh, anytime he gets equipped, he just destroys the equip card. However, he's not using Iron Grit today. And since we are not using Iron Grit, we are instead using Heart of a Warrior. Technically, he can still be affected by card effects. So this is good and this is bad, but it is what it is. This is the only monster card you will find in this main deck. However, any card, like we just said can become the Flame Swordsman. So it's not necessary to run a bunch of crazy monsters when we know we're going to pop out three Flame Swordsmen over time. Uh, moving on to the spells. Uh, we got to comply with our Bane list. So let's knock out the three of's here real quick. Two copies Book of Moon and one Cosmic Cyclone. Again, once we have the Flame Swordsman, and it's guaranteed, we're going to be playing him turn one every game because that skill said so. Um... We need to make sure we keep them alive. So we need to make sure that we can get rid of back row or equips or field spells or whatever's, you know, uh, looking like a threat at the time, as well as Book of Moon. And this is going to help us shut off certain things with the rewording and uh, I think new uh, rarities for some of the old Dragon Caller build. Uh, this is going to become very important. So you guys are going to want to maybe stop Lord of Dragons uh, from being able to activate the Flute of Summoning. Uh, as well as a bunch of other cards, honestly, like Breaker. Breaker could break stuff, uh, but he can't do it if he's face down taking a nap. So, Book of Moon, very important. And again, Cosmic Cyclone does its thing. Um, part for Gear Freed, part for Flame Swordsman. We're going to have three copies of the Fusion Sword Murasami Blade. Now, this does equip only to Warriors. Good thing they are both Warriors. It gains 800 attack. Now, while equipped to a monster, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So... If we go back to Gearfried's effect, uh, this sword says, no, Gearfried can totally use me. So now Gearfried can strike out being stronger than a uh, Dark Magician. Uh, it'll be hitting the 2600 range. that will put him just within range of being able to be a four-star version of the Buster Blader. Uh, and again, when we give this to the Flame Swordsman, again, 2600. They are equal stats. Um, but it's just good. This is wholesome. It's a great card that can go to either of our two characters and be wielded with the same efficiency. Now, for a little more love to the Flame Swordsman, three copies of Fusion Weapon. Because, again, you guys got to remember, Joey, he's he's a warrior. He's he's just going to fight. And uh, this really like harkens back to old school uh, Joey. Plus, that's Dark Flare Knight on the card, which makes you definitely want to play, play it for Flame Swordsman. Uh, you equip this only to a level 6 or lower fusion monster card. It will gain eight, uh, sorry, 1,500 attack and defense points. That will put our boy at 33 by 31 um, when equipped with a fusion weapon. And again, these stack. So you can give him two of them. He'll be up to 4,800. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy not to play it. Again, the back row might have some more hate for us. So let's also slip in a double night beam until uh, Konami decides that this is on the same tier as the Cosmic Cyclone. And then we'll move to the traps. 
Now with the traps, I had a little bit of fun. I wanted to keep the whole equipment theme going. And since Gearfreed's here, let's talk blast with chain. So again, I get it, this is like a combination move. Um, but when this one is face up, is equipped and it gets destroyed by a card effect, I get to target a card on the field and destroy said card. This means that Gearfreed gets to spot check the opponent's side of the field for us. Um, if given to the Flame Swordsman, it will give a 500 power bonus. Uh, immediately taking him up to 23 on base. Um, and again, remember, any card in the deck can be discarded for Heart of the Warrior. And Heart of the Warrior is once a turn, every turn, until you run out of cards in your extra deck that are eligible. Um, to, which means to say uh, Carbonola Warriors and or Guilty, which actually beats Gear... For, uh, sorry, uh, well, I guess it does beat Gear Freed, but beats Flame Swordsman. Uh, only by 50 points of value. So um, if you are uh, just more strict about playing the best option, I guess right now you want to play Geltia, but like thematically, Flame Swordsman's so much cooler. Um, we are also going to be playing a one of, and it's just because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put here. Uh, one of uh, Kunai with Chain. Uh, I was actually toying with the idea of turning this into uh, Dahlgren. Just this way we had a Kaiju in the main deck. Uh, I don't always put a kaiju in, but when I do, I make sure that we can get rid of it. And again, there's a lot of ways that we could just overpower and mollywomp it. Um, so it's just a matter of uh, do we want to take off a bad thing, or do these blast with chains kind of make the Dahlgren feel uh, redundant? So if you guys want to play with Dahlgren, the flame mad kaiju, you can absolutely swap out the kunai. Um, it is just the spot that I've been playing around with since I've been coming uh, since I've been playtesting this. And just about anything you put in there comes up just enough. Um, and then the last card for the main deck, just two copies of Lost Wind. Um, because Lost Wind is still going to be good. you got other people who are going to be playing Heart of the Warrior. Um, this is going to allow us to just go ahead and half those monsters. Um, and again, uh, any monster with an effect text that got special summoned, we can half that and also take away its effects. So... It's very, 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 very cool. This is probably going to do some damage in your locals. Um, is this main deck too solid? No. No, because again, you got to remember, there are things that you can run into. The The trick is using the Night Beams, the Cosmic Cyclones, the, the Blasto Chains, before trying to board the Flame Swordsman and build up uh, your bit. Or again, using those cards in combination during your opponent's end phase type deal. Uh, you know, activate Blast with Chain on Gear Free during end phase. I'll take out your back row card. It's a matter of setting yourself up to be in a good position, and sometimes it will still play off. Like, most of the time, you guys are going to do just fine. Uh, but don't think that this deck, with my excitement and everything, like this is the end all. Um, but just real quick, let's go ahead, let's get those uh, notes, pause notes, or screenshot real quick and I'll be back with the extra inside and we're going to start with the extra today now the extra deck is pretty simple you do want to have as many flame swordsmen as possible I wish they were all secret rares just because I love the way that, it, that he looks as a secret rare and uh, I think it's about time Konami put a little secret rare respect on his name um, but again yeah just a five star fire warrior 18 by 16 nothing major it's everything we add to him that makes him so super. Um, moving into the rest of them, uh, we are going to still contain our Blue Eyes, our Destiny and Dragoon, and our Restrict. Now, again, maybe you guys have been buying the box sets, so maybe you don't have the Blue Eyes yet. Um, you know, Cyber and Dragon works really good here, so does Master of Oz. You need a very powerful card. Um, you need one that just has some targeted destruction, and you need, like, the ultimate uh, reversal. It's That's all that is. So, um, going into the side deck. The side deck is also very basic. I think this is the same one we used on our last build. Um, I do have my third Lost Wind in here, just in case it's, like, a hero deck that you're playing up against. Uh, Double Mind Crush, because there's so many decks that are telegraphing what cards they're going for right now. Especially with like reinforcement of the army up to two right now, it's very easy to call into uh, what they have to show you that they picked. I mean, to be honest, 
Two copies waking the dragon. And again, I feel like in this deck, since half of the uh, the extra deck is very important and we already have a main way into it, this could even drop to one. And you could also put that Dahlgren here into the side deck if that's what you guys want. And then my one of, I was torn between this or the uh, the offerings to the doomed. Instead, I just went with Zoma the Spirit. Um, I figured there was enough, uh, you know, hit pick troubles um, that if our opponent played Jinzo between the Books of Moon and everything else, we were just going to be able to off-board Jinzo real quick. Um, and that's, a, that's another thing that we can actually play out of if I go back to this. Um, was with the Blast with Chain, because I think I already did a spotlight for it. Um, so Jinzo would negate the effects on the field, and that is very important wording. Um, so if Jinzo did get summoned to the opponent's side of the field, you do have Gear Freed. This is why Gear Freed's in here. You can activate the Blast with Chain. You can still target an equipable monster. You still target Gear Freed. Gear Freed's effect still happens. Gear Freed still destroys this. This goes where? This goes to the discard pile. Guess where it resolves, guys? It activates and resolves in the discard pile. Guess where Jinzo has no power? That's right, the discard pile. Jinzo's big deal is he can negate things so long as they are on the field or the discard pile. Um, so just real quick, I will grab a copy of him because we still have our living ban list sitting over here. So again... On the field, they do not have their effects. So that's fine. And uh, the reason we get away with this is much the same way that we get away with one of my other favorite cards was Breakthrough Skill. And again, we used Breakthrough Skill when we played Jinzo in the, uh, the advanced formats. And the reason was because we could banish this in the graveyard to get the effect. And this was able to work with Jinzo decks, uh, even while we're the ones playing the Jinzo deck. Um, and it's also very good with Lost Wind. If Jinzo was to step up, we would still be able to get the Lost Wind back onto the field um, because of a special summon from the extra deck. Because that effect happens, it, it activates in the graveyard. It just ends with it being set face down. But since it's not a face-up effect at that point, it still sets itself. So, again, it's, re it's really cool stuff. Um, Zoma's here for, like, the big hit decks. Um... Like Friday, we were we were offered the challenge to build some slime gods. So rather than take a week to show you guys the same deck, all I'm going to do is I'm going to build you guys one slime build, just one, and it's going to play any one of the three ancient Egyptian god cards you guys want to play. So if you guys are into that, that'll be the next video. That'll be Friday. Um, real quick, go ahead, notes or uh, screenshot. I do want to thank you guys for stopping by to enjoy this deck. Hopefully you do enjoy this deck. Garrett, I know that you do, because that's a Flame Swordsman on the table. Okay? I know you've been looking forward to this. I know you've already been playtesting some variant of it. Let me know how it's stacked up to yours. Everybody else, just enjoy the rest of your day. Try to enjoy tomorrow, and hopefully I get to see you guys all on Friday, okay? Till then, see you later. Have a wonderful time.